What's up everybody, this is Hector Tech Preacher. So I'm out here on vacation in Savannah, Georgia, and I'm in one of the historical uh, parks here. And I'm still working, by the way, still doing some work, even though I'm on vacation. Uh, and one of my good friends in my Telegram group hit me on a professional software that's called MC Pro 24. Now, this software is just like Filmic Pro. If you watch my YouTube channel, I talk about Filmic Pro a lot. Well, MC uh, Pro 24 is a professional videographer's app and it has a bunch of features on there. So in this video, I'm going to go over the OS a little bit and I'm going to give you guys some footage of MC Pro 24. Now, I'm going to give you some comments on it. I cannot go through the entire app in this video because it's so detailed. It's going to need a dedicated video just for the app. So we're going to go over the OS and I'm going to give you my thoughts and I'm going to give you some footage while I'm out here at the park in Savannah, Georgia. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So this portion here, I wanna go through the app. Now I got to make a dedicated video because there's so many features with this app, but I'm gonna really briefly go through this app. I'm gonna screen record my device and we're gonna go through the app. One of the outstanding features that you can get with this app is that you can get 500 megabytes of bit rate. That's crazy insane uh, that you could do, but in this video, I'm not gonna record at 500 megabytes of bit rate because the file size is astronomical plus I did it and the device gets a little warm you start losing frames and stuff like that uh, also I'm going to shoot this uh, portions of the video at 1080p uh, 24 frames per second 16 by 9 aspect ratio all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to record my screen and uh, we're going to go over the OS really quick uh, and uh, go from there here's the layout uh, which is really neat, uh, especially if you're coming from Filmic Pro. Um, this is a very good, unique layout. All right, so on one side here, you have your exposure, and on the other side here, you have your autofocus, your manual focus, your tap to focus, your zooming in and zooming out. Let's get right into it. Down at the bottom here, you have your, your microphone, you have your uh, frame rates and stuff like that, then you have your settings. Let's go straight into the camera mode itself, okay. So this uh, app, you can shoot what GPU enable and GPU not enable. And we're gonna talk about that real briefly in this video. All right, so right now I got it on 1080p, 24 frames per second with GPU enable. And once I do that, which I'm gonna shoot most filmmakers and content creators shoot at 24 frames or 30 frames per second. But you can go up to, um, uh, 20 well 30 you can go up to 25 frames per second which you see it in red you can go up to 30 frames per second then you can go up to 60 frames per second here so you can go up to uh, 60 frames per second with the GPU on and I'm gonna show you real quick without the GPU on you could go up to 240 frames per second with the GPU off now we're gonna talk about the GPU on and the GPU off uh, as I give you briefly a tour through this um, uh, this app all right, again, 24 frames per second, I'm gonna shoot this at 1080p. Yes, you can shoot this at 4K, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna shoot at 1080p. All right, so uh, I'm shooting at uh, 24 frames per second. I'm gonna do uh, 1080p, 16 by nine aspect ratio. And look at the video's recording settings. You got crop, de-squeeze, you got the DOF adapter. Uh, you got constant uh, FPS mode, which is experimental. Uh, you got targeted frame rates. You got Kodak. I'm going to shoot this in H.265 uh, for the purpose of this video, but you can't go into H.264, but I'm going to shoot at H.265, uh, not a bit rate. Now, this is what's so insane with this, uh, this app. This video I'm going to shoot at 160 uh, megabytes, which is a large file. To give you reference, most devices shoot at 35 to 50 megabytes bit rates. I got it at 160 uh, megabyte bit rates, but you can go all the way up to 500 megabytes of bit rate. This is insane. Now you do see it in red. And one of the reasons why you see this in red is because you have to understand that devices cannot shoot in these high bit rates. If you do shoot at these high bit rates, you're gonna start getting lost frames and stuff like that. The device will start heating up, but that's your option. But the purpose of this video, I'm gonna shoot at 160 frames per second. All right, so we're gonna go back to 160 frames, which is the safe zone, by the way. And uh, bit rate, 
rate I want to shoot at. I want to shoot at a consistent bit rate, uh, constant bit rate. So I'm going to go constant bit rate, but you can shoot in default or uh, variable bit rate. But I'm going to go constant bit rate because I want to stay. I want the device to stay at 160 megabyte bit rates. And you got noise reduction. You got hot pixel correction. You got sharpness if you want to make it sharp. Stabilization is important because you got optical and digital stabilization. You can turn it off, you got optical, you got digital, and you can do both. What keeps the device very steady if you're moving, if you're panning and stuff like that. So it works out very well uh, and go from there. All right. So once again, it's a difference between GPU and non-GPU. And again, I'm probably gonna make a dedicated video because so much stuff with this with this app. At the bottom here, um, you can uh, go here and what's so weird about this you do have log support on this device so you can go to linear uh, you can go manual log uh, and you can go rec 709 srgb you got uh, hlg uh, you got cine log s log you got all kinds of different things in log so you got full log support remember this app is 14 dollars, so you got so much stuff going on here so in this video what i'm going to shoot is I'm gonna shoot in regular mode, uh, which I am going to adjust all my exposure and, and uh, shutter speed and ISO, uh, which I'm gonna display on the, on the screen. The second thing is I'm, that I'm gonna do is I'm going to shoot in 10 bit, so y'all guys can see how ridiculous 10 bit is. Now listen, man, 10 bit you have to turn off the GPU, all right? Uh, and let me show you this real quick on, on the GPU side. So when you turn off GPU, just say I select 24 frames per second, and I go to a 1080p, uh, 16 by nine aspect ratio. Right here at the bottom, we got 10 bit color, 10 bit insane, right? Uh, and I got the uh, 160 uh, megabytes of bit rate and I have consistent bit rate. Now here's a problem. The problem is that this device, not using the GPU, the, the 10 bit color is unusable, uh, especially with this device. So I would advise you that don't worry about the 10 bit, shoot in eight bit. When you're using the GPU, you're gonna shoot in eight bit, not 10 bit. 10, 10 bit is unusable on this device right here. Now I don't know about any other devices, but I know what the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra with the 865 plus processor with 12 gigs of RAM. 10 bit color is unusable. I'm gonna do some color grading to try to show y'all guys it's possible that you can try to color grade it, but you will see in this video that 10 bit color is unusable using this app. All right, again, I will have a lot of a coverage with this app is so much people. I can go on and on and on about all the features with this app, but let me show you some footage uh, with this device using this app. Let's go. So let me give you some commentary on uh, what you're seeing right now. Right here is with GPU on, I got this at 24 frames per second at 160 megabyte bit rates. It's large files, believe it or not. It's I, I've, uh, a few minutes is like three, four gigs. Uh, so it's very large files right here. It's just the, uh, my shutter speed is locked. My ISO is at about 20. Look at the dynamic range behind me. It looks really good. Uh, I might do this a little tap color grading at this part of the video. So uh, this is at eight bit with the GPU on. Remember that uh, with the GPU on, you cannot go past eight bit. Now with the GPU off, you could go to 10 bit. And that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna go 10 bit with the GPU off and I'm gonna try to do some color grading in post. It's not gonna look that great. I wouldn't recommend doing GPU off with 10 bit color at 1080p, 4K or whatever. It, it just, it's not gonna work. But let me show you anyway, uh, the GPU off at 10 bit. All right, so this is 10 bit. <laughs> and as you can see the before, and I'm gonna try to add some color to it and try to fix it. 
Uh, and but I'm gonna tell you right now, with this app, this device combination, 10 bit uh, would not work that well. As you can see, 10 bit, uh, I try to fix it as much as I can. Uh, but it's so funny that when looking at the display, it looks really good, but when you put it in post, it's totally messed up. So uh, I just wanted to let y'all guys see this. This is gonna be 10 bit. Uh, no GPU and that's the problem because it's not using the, uh, the graphics card the graphics uh, uh, software uh, So it's just rambling all doing what it need to do. I won't I would never recommend 10-bit But here it is 10-bit color uh, on this device and You be the judge for yourself. Let me get out of this man. It sucks. So here it is. All right guys So this is the front facing camera Right? I'm doing this at 24 frames per second, same bit rate, same everything, but I'm using uh, auto GPU, so the GPU is on, uh, and I got all my shutter speed and everything locked. Uh, so this is the front camera. Now I am going to switch to the different modes so y'all guys can see, but this is the front camera. Let me know down in the comments below what you like about it, what you don't like about it. You see, look man, the sky is really blowing out a little bit. As I've been filming, uh, it's been, the, the clouds been covering the sky, so uh, you, I'm not seeing any blue skies right now. So there's no blue skies right now. Uh, and so that's why you don't see a lot of dynamic range. You don't see no blueness in there uh, in the sky. But earlier during the video, you did see some blue skies. As I'm recording, it, it's the sun is coming in, it's going out, it's coming in, it's going out, it's getting cloudy. You see some blue skies, you don't see blue skies, but so it, you beat it just for yourself. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to log and, uh, and I'm gonna do some color grading with this portion also, but uh, I'm gonna shoot in log so y'all guys can see the log with this right here. Let's go. All right, so this is log, right? Uh, and I'm shooting this at log, same setting, same everything. Uh, and I'm gonna add a little color to it. And I'll let y'all guys see the before and after. And here we go. As you can see, you got a little more color, a little more saturation, a little more contrast. Again, you can't. I can't do anything with, with the sky. The sky is, is pretty blown out. There's no blue skies going on right now. So you be the just for yourself. What I like about this app is yes, you can use the focal lengths. You can only use two of the rear cameras and you can actually use different focal lengths on the front camera, which is nice. Look, man, this app is, is really intuitive. I like this app. This app is really good. Um, I don't know about the 10-bit color. I don't know about the, the 500 megabytes of, of bit rate, but so far, I'm really loving this now one of the questions you guys may ask can you go up to 60 frames per second 120 frames per second the answer is yes without GPU you could go to 120 frames per second with GPU you could go to 60 frames per second so you can't do some slow-mo effects but 24 frames per second is what the filmmakers used this is I use 30 between 30 frames per second and 24 frames per second on this YouTube channel at all times I don't do 60 frames per second only when I do slow-mo shots I use 60 frames per second but all in all i'm at 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second that's my two uh frames per second uh that i use on this youtube channel so i hope you enjoyed this video i want to kind of showcase this app because it's really intuitive now i know it's been a long drawn out video of me going through the os a little bit and the reason why is because the os is it has so many features that I didn't even go scratch the surface of all the things that this app can do Which I'm probably gonna make a dedicated video just for the app itself. Look man I got a lot of testing to do with this. This is the the beginning stages of this app I really like it, but for a smartphone I tell I tell you that it's, it's pretty exciting Especially when I've been using Filmic Pro for a long time I don't use Filmic Pro anymore, but I do got videos on my channel about Filmic Pro. So check it out This is Eric See you guys on the next video. Peace.